What's going on guys? Welcome back. More NFL Madden 15 commentary PS4. Do me a favor, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter, shut down safety is my username. I want to talk about interactions and pursuit angles on this play. And to me, this is a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. But the bad outweighs the good. When we take a look first off at this screen develop, I love the touch pass here from Bridgewater. I mean, Smith is getting pressure, but not enough to impede Bridgewater from throwing. And he kind of does this one foot touch pass right over to Matt. And then here we go, turning up field. A problem we talk about a lot in Madden. Two offensive linemen, two defensive backs. Can they go put a hat on a hat? In this situation, they absolutely do. And there's something to be said about that. That's good football fundamentals. But now things start to go out the window a little bit. You know, I also will say to a degree, I like the fact that Sullivan blocks Culliver into my path. And Culliver actually impedes me without making a tackle. Just impedes me with his mere presence of being blocked into where I'm running. That's good. I like the fact that I have to stumble over to him. But here's where we start to run into issues. You can see my body posture. I'm trying to catch my balance. My head is down in the ground. When you talk about the players understanding where they are on the field, you can see the sticks there. I'm roughly a yard away from a first down. You know, why is it that number 93 gets sucked into a block here? Why can Sullivan come right off blocking Culliver and have a full base and support to pick up a defensive tackle? That's not going to happen in real life. Why is it that Bowman, one of the better linebackers in the league, pursues the ball carrier this way? All of a sudden jumps outside reacting to me tripping rather than to pursuing to me. And then why is he not able to complete this tackle? I mean, when he comes across, look at his position. I mean, this is a, a phone booth that you can operate over here. And this is a situation where any linebacker is going to over-pursue the ball carrier and miss the tackle? I mean, to me, that's highly unrealistic. You know, you take a look at Lynch. You know, what is this? Why is he tied to Rudolph's hip? Where is he pursuing to in terms of the ball carrier? I don't understand that. And finally, you know, Justin Smith basically just runs in here and creates a tackle. And then I love that Reed just dives in afterwards. But I do want to just play this from the ball carrier's perspective to just take a look at the mess that occurs up here at speed. Love to know your opinions on it. Appreciate you checking it out. Back in the week with more content.